don't be scared I thought I would give you like a quick tour of some of the um, paintings, photos, shit like that that we've bought this year for our Halloween bash. These are also, I'm not gonna lie, paintings that will probably be, probably be up all year. But for regular people, it would probably just be a seasonal photo. So let's just jump right into it shall we okay so here are some that we have in our bedroom this is one that my mom made for me this is one we bought this year at michael's i just thought it was really cute it had this really like warm fall um sort of feeling and then this tree i bought quite a few years ago at a um what are they called like a craft convention it's not comic-con it's like a oh god that's gonna bother me yeah, like a craft convention where people who hand make stuff like go there and it's a big thing and anyways uh, He had a lot of really amazing metal work, but this tree just really stood out to me. It's like that creepy Crawly yeah, love it. Absolutely love it. And then we do have another photo that's gonna go here But we just haven't hung it yet. But yeah, these are the These this is the new purchase that we got this year to kind of go with the brown theme that we have going on on this wall and then above our bedroom door, we've got this Hocus Pocus painting that we, or picture I guess, that we bought this year at Michael's. I just thought it was super cute. It's got that like creepy vibe, but yeah, I just thought it would look really good like right above the door. We've also bought this new and we're just not quite sure where to put it. It is pretty heavy and I kind of want to put it on the bookshelf that we have, but yeah, it's just really heavy so it needs a different kind of nail than the ones we have. We've also bought this where we want to put it out where I park my car, but we just haven't got to that yet, but we think it looks really cool. It's kind of like this like tinny vibe going on again. Got this at Michael's. Okay, so those were all the new paintings. Now I'm going to show you all of the old paintings that we already have, or photos, I guess. They're not paintings. I don't know why I keep saying that, but I do. Um, but yeah, now I'm going to show you all the old paintings that we already had, and yeah, you can see those. So these are two paintings that I got at a Comic-Con center that comes here every year, and... Yeah, this is probably one of my all-time favorite photos that I've ever gotten, just because I love the coloring and yeah. This is also a photo that I got at a Comic-Con that comes here, and this is actually my second favorite photo <laughs> that I have. I love the Crypt Keeper when I was younger, and I just think the coloring in this is really cool. Here is one of the Batman photos. I was obsessed with the Joker, and I had two really big posters of different styles of the Joker, but they both got wrecked in the flood, which is unfortunate, but this bad boy made it out, so that was a bonus. And then here is the Alien and Predator wall. As you can see, I've gotten an alien and a predator in the same art style. Like, I've got you and you, you and you, you and you, you and you. And we've just kind of hung them up on the wall. And no matter what we do, they always end up crooked. So we've just stopped trying to keep them all straight. And we just kind of have this really wonky, crooked wall of alien and predators. But I think it kind of works. So... Yeah, I promise at one point they were all straight, but they always shift and fall and all that. So we've just given up trying to fix it because we're like, and we're over it. And then I have this wall here. You can't really see the Joker that well, but it goes to the Joker and then two Harley Quinns and then Venom and then Poison Ivy right at the bottom there. So this is kind of just like a cool mismatch artwork wall that we have. Yeah, so those are all like the paintings and photos that we already had that kind of give this place like a little bit of a creepier vibe. I do have a lot of shelves with decorations on them too. I've got three floating shelves in the bedroom, three floating shelves in the living room, and then a bookshelf filled with Halloween decorations. But I think we'll save that for another time because I don't want this video to be too long. I just kind of wanted to showcase like the wall art we have, especially since we live in an apartment. So like everything is tan. As you can see, the doors, the walls, the baseboards, everything. So I kind of put up, I like to put up photos just because it breaks up the color and my boyfriend really likes it too, just because again, it breaks up that like beige color, which uh, in case you don't know, beige is the color of hell. And guys, you were wondering. But, 
yeah, we do have, well, focus on me. We have a couple photos that still aren't up yet, but they're not really Halloween-y. One is of like my dog who passed away, and I really like those photos, so I've kept them. And then another one is of this sign that my parents made me, and it said, we can't all be princesses, someone has to clap when I walk by. <laughs> so that one we still need to hang up as well. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would share with you some of the like spookier paintings and photos that we have. They just kind of give this place that like Halloween-y kind of feel. And I know some of them are like comic books or movies and stuff like that, but they're all kind of like that villainy. Like I like the villains. I don't have like Superman hanging up anywhere because he's a fucking loser. So, <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like they're all the villains. And so I think it kind of really helps give that give this place like that creepier vibe that we're going for but yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video smash that like button if you did and i will see you in my next installment of getting ready for halloween the halloween party prep maybe ooh, maybe that's what i'll call this oh girl figuring things out but yeah uh follow me on my instagram if you haven't already i'll be posting a bunch of halloween fall inspired pics in the next little while. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video. <laughs>